Hello everybody and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. In the last episode we had a pretty good recording session. Um, it was it was a good time. Um, if case you're wondering, it has been a little bit since I recorded, so I might be a little bit sloppy. To be entirely honest, I haven't really played many games. Um, I've played some uh, Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. That was easy. Um, yeah, it's in here. Pineapple and I think ammo. So just before I run in here, I want to mention I have not really played games in a little while. I've I have played a little bit of Dark Souls, but uh, for the most part, I haven't really done anything. Um, school started back up this week, so it was a little bit yeah, a little bit all over the place. However, what I have decided is that I'm gonna record a couple hours of this. We're gonna get some good episodes out of this, and not only that, I'm gonna try to get two episodes today to make up for the for the lack of. Uh, but what I'm also gonna do is I'm actually going to set up another, or another uh, not episode, another series uh, beside this one. And I actually know what series I'm going to do. So that'll all be good. Uh, that's not going to come out for a little while there, but don't worry about that. As soon as I get things rolling, we're going we're gonna to make sure that we're good. We're going to try for two episodes a day, as well as, uh, you know, just, just keeping everything going. So hopefully I can do that. Hopefully I'm not putting too much on my plate. I used to record two episodes a day. Uh, but that was when I was in school, and, and I wasn't working, and, and things were different, so hopefully we can do that. Anyway, enough of that. Let's focus on today. We're here in Bioshock Infinite. Here we are at Chen Ling, Chen Ling, yes, Chen Lin's uh, gunsmith uh, place, and uh, let's move on. What's in here? Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, what's in here? We got nothing. Thank you. Uh, we got some nice 2D tools. Uh, those are really 2D, but that looks like a nice cleaver. And we have a voxophone. My god. Alright, you guys, it's been a while. Let's listen to another voxophone. I have a pressing need to speak to this so called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though, if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Well, there you go, learning a bit more about Daisy. Anyway, wow, we have another area already. Well, let's go to the gunsmith place, which I didn't think would load a new area, but here we are. <laughs> Chen Lin shop. This is a hell of a shop, Jesus. All right. Yeah, um, hello? What are you? Okay, you're just, your salts and like really poorly rendered stuff and doesn't matter. We got some money and we have... Thank you, even more money. Elizabeth, you're such a dear. You're such a dear to me. All right, let's just move on a little bit quicker here. We want to see what's going on. So. I've read about this. That's Gatma Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Jesus. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. What the hell is going on here? Ooh, is there something I have to search? Ooh, I missed all of Hello? Those. Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. I was gonna say, it, it kind of looked like it was uh, ransacked. I hear crying. Uh, there's someone downstairs. Down? Didn't we just come from down? Hello? Oh, what? Where did you come from? Ma'am? Mrs. Lin? Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Don't tell me he's Mr. dead. Chen Lin? Is he dead? Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. I'm gonna guess gone? we're ransacked. They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. <laughs> Where is this club? Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Because she doesn't have any guns. That's Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. The flying squad. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, now let's figure out where this good time club is. I want to mention the flying squads. Every single time I, I read that name, all I could picture was flying squirrels, and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, you okay? 
What is it, girl? You found something? Yeah, that is wood. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you haven't really seen much wood, have you? Well, maybe you have. What was your tower made out of? Anyway, let's go back. Load up an entirely new area, the Plaza of Zeal. All right, uh, Rolston. Uh, not even gonna try. Look, I'm really tired. I just woke up. <laughs> I woke up, did some homework, and started recording. So don't uh, don't get mad at me. Let's go back out. Um, do we have? Oh my God, I don't know what the button is. It's N. That's what it is. All right, let's go. It's a good time for. Oh shit! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh fuck! 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 All right. Okay, that caught me off guard. Whoops. Let's just run back and we need a moment to like fucking relax. Get the fuck off me, man. All right, you know what we're gonna do first? All right, I remember the controls. Took me a second. Um, we're gonna possess you, and then we're gonna get the grenades, or the crows, or the shock jockey. What the fuck am I doing? Devil's kiss. Just run. I gotta fucking shoot at you at some point. All right, whoops. I keep on switching uh, the thing by accident. Let's just get you with that. All right, no, we got this, we got this. I just need a second to recuperate. And the heart, does he have a heart? I don't think he does. Imagine it's black. Okay. This is our first handy man fight. Caught me off guard, Jesus Christ. You know what I could probably use? You got ammo for me, my dear? Thank you, I appreciate it. Now, do you have any, ow, salts for me? <laughs> Christ, this guy's a fucking pain. He reminds me of a monkey. Jesus. All right. All right, no, I got this. I got this. Run, 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 run. Jesus Christ. Let's just take this. Let's wreck him. Fuck. Do you have salts for me, my dear? Oh, you're such a deer. Wow, you have a hell of a throw. Burn, baby, burn. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. It's gonna explode? No, okay. Whew. What the fuck? Well, that was a very difficult fight. You gave me gear. You gave me tunnel. <laughs> Damn it. You gave me tunnel vision, you asshole. Aiming increases by uh, aiming increases my damage by 25 and hip firing reduces. I don't think I'm gonna take that. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't, I don't think I'll equip it. I must admit, you know your way um, around brawl. I I missed your line of dialogue. What the fuck? That was a weird way to run. I'm stunned over how you glitched out that last episode. You scared the shit out of me. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. All right, is this a good time, I'm Club? Open to change Town? Yeah. I can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Ooh, I think I see salts. <laughs> Hello? Hi, salts. All right, so she's kind of coming around a little bit. Um, that's a good. Oh, what? Where, why are you teleporting? Ma'am, get the fuck off. Is this a good time, Club, here? No, it's not. Whoops. Doesn't look like we can enter now. Or maybe it was. Get off. <laughs> uh, is this the area? It is. All right, let's go to the good time in. Let's have a look and see what... We also get an achievement, but I don't know what it's for. I'm going to guess that it's... F I'm going to just not even have the audio playing here. I'll just turn it down really low. Is this it? Oh my god, there's so many loading screens in this area. This must have sucked on console. All right, let's go. <laughs> the good time club. I don't trust Fitzroy to honor idea. Oh, fucking god damn it. All right. One where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. <laughs> You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fitz? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> a man like me could have use of an old... Pinkerton like you. Wait, I'm up. Okay, I don't know really what's going on, but let's have a look at this. Do you have anything for me? Oh, you have some damage boost items. Uh, increases a shotgun damage? Eh, I mean, I could use that. Um, decreases my reload time on the shotgun. Increases my ammo on the pistol. It increases a machine gun clip. The shotgun is my favorite weapon, to be fair. So why don't we just increase the damage on the shotgun by 25%? Make that thing a pain in the ass to deal with. And let us move on. What do we have in here? You have more money for me? Thank you. Oh wow, that just closed right in her face. Oh, it's Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. I'm guessing we have a big fight coming up. All I ask is that you finish what you started to it. 
Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first there, candidate that one. is a Done. veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Ma'am, sirs? Alright. Fire? Wait, the fireman? Alright, let's just check this. Oh, that's what the fireman meant. I thought it meant like an actual... Never mind. Ow, dick. How about we just fucking shoot you with an RPG? Alright. Wow, my aim is getting significantly off. I gotta start playing games again. Jesus. Alright. We have you first. You're dead. And then we have you and you are dead. Did I kill everyone? No, I didn't. Go over there. I'm gonna just run. Because we got someone else coming. I can hear him, obviously. Where's that fireman at? He sounds really close. Um. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. You're not close. Just down there. Just chilling. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. Let's just get rid of you. There we go. I'm a pistol. Why am I a pistol? Speaking of a pistol, what do you have for me? Do you have a... Oh, shit. They just had ammo. Alright, not really what I'm looking for, but that's alright. Uh, we got medical kits out over here. Wow, dick. I'm gonna just get rid of you. I'm gonna bring over these medical kits. I'll, I'll take one of these. I'm getting a little bit lower on health. Alright, what's going on here? Um... Oh, we have a movie. This young go-getter <laughs> is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up at a hiring fair for a song. Do it. Okay. Alright, I'm worried that this music is going to get me, like, copyright strikes. But that's okay, right? Let's just get this volley gun, because this thing is a pain in the ass to deal with. Hey, it's a crow. You know what the crow is really vulnerable to? Clearly disappearing. Nope. Get rid of you, and I'll take care of you quick. So wait, did we just have to get to go through all of the uh, main enemies we fought? I'm guessing. Probably. Alright, you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> wow, okay, no. So we, we got some... Ooh, Jesus. Looked like it hurt. You alright? Let me just help you out there with a nice hit to the head. Also, I'm <laughs> I hope that none of these uh, motion, quick motion movements makes anybody sick. I mention this every episode, but I am not a very stable player. Now, the opening acts. Your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. Let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of you. And you. And you. I don't know where everyone else is at. I also just wasted half of my salt, but that doesn't matter. Oh, that's... In the back is where we shoot the Patriot. Well, I just got a Elizabeth with that. Ouch. Sorry. Yeah, I do, actually. Thank you. Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so can we just place this trap? Yeah? Is he dead? He is, but there's there more? Oh, we have like a hot air balloon? <laughs> Go down. Eh, get down. Whoop. Jesus, what the hell are these? What is going on? Congratulations to wit! You know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job. <laughs> but now, I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Hmm. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Well, this is a little uh, disturbing. Oh, shit. I know we're good. Look, there's a door over here. There's a door? I think that's the way down. This door? Oh, well, I was I was hoping you saw something I didn't see. Employees only. 
All right, what do we have? Ooh, Vox phone. Go. <laughs> I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Oh my god, are you okay? Jesus, I just blew Elizabeth's head off. Um, that was interesting. I don't know what's going on, but that was interesting. Anyway, Silver Eagle, we got some money. We got some people that are wanted. So we got the Vox Anarchist, Dead or Alive. $5,000 reward. Jesus. Daisy Fritz, so I the leader of the Vox at 30000 And uh, as a labor agitator, got $1,000. So he's, he's not really that important. They don't really care if they get him or not. Clearly. Alright, what do we have also? Hey. Oh, look at that. Cool. Alright, can we just get through here? Yeah, can you be a dear Elizabeth? Just get us right through there. Alright. used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. Thank you. Disposal. What's in here? Uh, we get a hand cannon here. What's up? Nope. Whoop. Didn't mean to go down on you there, just a good sir. <laughs> Normally, I at least wait till the second date. Um, so. <laughs> what do we have? We got money, we got a code book. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Now, okay, now we have an absolute. Uh, we have another optional code. Is it in this dove? No, it's not. <laughs> um, do I have to fall through, the uh, fall through the wall again in order to find this? Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, we have some salts, but we're full, and then we have a movie. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. Whoa. We know you can hear us. The racism. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We've got three more to bring in tonight. Jesus. Alright, we gotta get there quick. Alright. What's that smell? Ooh, that's a Vox phone, is what I smell. He's down here. They treat them like animals. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock what under have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. It's Slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Just what happened to the poor guy? I thought he was dead. I guess I found him. Alright, uh, this looks like this might be door number nine, if I had any way to tell. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, this is eight, this is nine. How many lock picks do we have? Got a lock here. Looks easy enough. Because I want to get both. This is it, isn't it? Oh, we have eleven left. Yep. We're good. Number nine. Should have unlocked the other one first. I just didn't know how many lock picks we had. Thank you. You're such a deard. <laughs> What's unlock? This one required eight, so it might be what we're looking we for. Maybe not. Oh, it just came with a throttle control, which increases my throttle and braking control. Not something I really need, but whatever. Also, it's a nice RPG ammo. And nothing else. Let's move on, Elizabeth. What's in here? Door number nine. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Want to hold on to this? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt. Not hyenas. <laughs> I actually, had a, I didn't know what he said. I had, a, I had to read that over on the bottom, so that was fun. Anyway, what do we have here? Do we have anything in this room, like a voxophone or lockpicks? I don't know. Also, in terms of that vox code, who knows where that was even supposed to be. I also can't see a bloody thing. Uh, 
Do we have like a... Oh, Jesus, I can't see a goddamn thing. What the fuck? Alright. Um, this is... Oh, he, I mean, he is right here. But is he... That's a, that's a dead guy, I think. Where are we... Hold on, is there any way to turn on lights that I just missed? Or... Is there a flashlight? Or... Nothing? Is this a light? This might be a switch. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> on! Alright, is this who we're looking for? Oh, he is... He is not alive. Um, where is he alive? Too late. God damn it. Oh. This is what he meant. He is not alive. Oh, Jesus. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. Thank you.